How did you find out about this movement and get involved with it? So I was co-founder of Period um, at The Ohio State University and eventually I began working with Period National as a policy coordinator and now as uh, one of the leaders of the National Period Day uh, campaign. We are a youth-run nonprofit celebrating menstruation. We help people with periods. People with periods. This is an issue that I believe we can eradicate, and that's why we're focused on pushing it forward. Do you think that ending this period tax is going to help end poverty? This is, this is a form of poverty, so yes, 100%. Period poverty is a form of poverty. It's a legitimate form of poverty, and working together with all these legislators here in Ohio and across the country, um, I believe we can do it and, and end it, yeah. On Saturday, we're actually having National Period Day. There's a crisis that's being ignored. It's keeping far too many people away from school. One in four women can't afford menstrual hygiene products. Tampons, pads, essentials. Some have to use cardboard instead, or toilet paper, or even trash. If you think it's uncomfortable to talk about period poverty, imagine the people with cardboard in their underwear. You don't have to have PMS to be pissed off about it. But it helps. 46% of women in St. Louis had to um, choose between access to food and menstrual hygiene products. Why tax something that you have no choice to buy? Um, tampons and period products, Women use them like so consistently for an average of 40 years of their life, yet they're still taxed as if they're luxury items. So yeah. would you consider yourself to be anti-socialist then, since you're against taxing people? Um, I think period products, um, taxing period products cannot be compared to like any other thing out there. Um, like I said, um, this actually puts this over, like, put, this puts a burden on women, um, especially um, for being just women, right? You have no choice to buy these products, and that it should not it should not be that way. Do you feel like you're being financially impacted because the period tax? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Do you feel like you're more you know impoverished because you have to pay this period tax? Yeah, I think period tax shouldn't be a luxury, so. Food, like milk and eggs, those are all like things that we need. Should we remove okay. taxes on them? Okay, so um, okay, so menstrual products, unlike most men's exclusively used items, like Viagra, Regain, suspensories, penal, pump penal pumpers, all of these items are exempt um, from the 6%, nearly 6% sales tax in Ohio, classifying them as medical necessities. Um, however, menstrual products, something that's used very widely and consistently by women are taxed. So at the base of it, this is a gender equality issue more than anything else, which is why it can't be compared to toothpaste, like Councilwoman Brown mentioned, or even food. So it's not really as much about the tax as it is about the gender inequality then? Yes. That I will faithfully execute. The Office of President of the United States Office of President of the United States and will to the best of my ability and will to the best of my ability preserve, protect and defend, preserve, protect and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. With an oath and a handshake from the Chief Justice Donald Trump, now the President. While a tax puts a burden on menstruators, I think it's symbolic of so much more than that. And um, I believe one of the most tangible steps that we can take towards gender equality is through eliminating this tampon tax. We'll never have gender equity if we can't talk about periods. That's why we're building a movement to raise awareness, make big changes, and ensure menstrual equity. Menstrual equity. I think that it's definitely a huge financial burden and it's something that is an inequity because there's only part of the population that has to deal with that kind of burden and if you're if you're concerned about paying for food then the first thing to go is your menstrual health. Do you agree that food is necessary? Of course Absolutely. Food is necessary. Absolutely. 
What do you think is more necessary, food or period products? I don't think it's a question of which is more necessary, and I don't think it should be a question of whether or not I as an individual feel more impoverished by period right. tax, because it's about menstruators across the country, menstruators across the country who don't have the same privileges that I may financially or in any other capacity. It does not need to be a conversation of, yes, food is more important than period products. It's both things are important, and we don't need to pit basic human needs against each other. Absolutely. Do you think it's fair that we pay taxes on other goods like food, uh, water, ammunition? Yes, I do believe in taxes. You do believe in taxes? Uh, yes, I believe in taxes. Just not period taxes. Well, the, we don't believe they should be taxed as luxury goods because they're not luxury goods. They're not exempt from the tax and that deems them a luxury when they're not. So we understand that things need to be taxed, but especially with menstrual products where nobody has the choice to menstruate or not, frankly, they shouldn't they should be exempt. Thank you so much for your time though. Would we you, appreciate you. you guys. Would you say that you appreciate you guys. Would you say that you you know this is you know this is more Thank of an you. anti tax really issue or Thanks, okay so care, he's cutting you. the interview. Yeah, 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 why are you we're good. But, well we, we already spoke quite a bit and we yeah. have to get out of here. So we appreciate So you're you not letting these women talk Thank when it's so a much. women's all issue? Right. He's mansplaining for all these women. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. That's kinda rude. Take care. I'd like to speak to some of the women because this is really a women's issue. It's actually an issue for everybody. It's actually an issue for everybody. People with periods. Take advantage of the amazing final days Black Friday sale at InfoWarsStore.com right now. 50% off, double Patriot points, and free shipping. Products are flying off the shelves. These are high-end quality nutraceuticals. Get them while they last. And you can feel happy knowing that you're supporting me while taking advantage of these great deals.